Hello. Considering the <coughs> naming the, the sounds, segments in Arabic and in English, before going on naming the uh, the consonant sounds, we should shed light uh, on the the most important organ for naming the consonant sounds in Arabic and in English, which is the tongue. The tongue, considering the the biggest part, which are the biggest part, which are concerning about the moving and producing the sound speech, sounds, sound speech, sorry, sounds. The the politician divided the tongue into, for example, this is the tongue, into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five sound, five parts. The, the first part, which is the tip, which is the front, the very front. And the second thing, it, uh, which is the, the blade, it's called the blade. And the third, uh, the front, called the front. All the, all the politicians know about these names. And the, the back of the tongue, and the last part, and the fifth part, the fifth and the last part, which is the, the root of the tongue. There is a very easy way to remember all these uh, parts of the tongue. As I, as I said before, that the, the, all the tradition name the name all the consonant sounds, especially the consonant sounds, according to the basal ones, basal articulators basic articulators which are which is which are on the on the upper jaw as I said before if you remember that if you name the basic articulator the active one will be predictable if you close your mouth and make your tongue just relaxing in the relaxing way. The very tip is on the, the tip of the tongue. It's easy. But the blade lies immediately, immediately, lies immediately beneath or under the alveolar ridge. If you say that the sound is alveolar, then the active part will be the blade of the tongue. And to the palate, the palate, which is the hard part of the tongue, lies the front. If you said that this sounds palatal, the active articulator will be the front of the tongue. Okay? And go on to the the soft part of the of the tongue, which is movable by the way, which is lying beneath, is the back of the tongue. If you say it, the soft part, by the way, is called the velum, and the consonant sounds happens occur in this part of the mouth. It's called vela. If the sound is vela, then the act. Articulator is the back of the is the back of of the tank. Here, after the uvula part, she is called in the, in Arabic alha. And there is a, our pharynx down here, which was like the the larynx. Inside the larynx, there is a vocal tract, okay, uh, which comes into the root of the tongue. The 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 back wall here is the back wall of the pharynx. The back wall of the pharynx, okay. 
it, the sound is pharyngeal, it's called pharyngeal, according to these bonds of our body. Hence, the, the active articulator will be the root of the tongue. In English, we don't have pharyngeal sounds, but in Arabic, we have two sounds which are pharyngeal, which are very important in Arabic. This is, before I go on speaking about the consonant sounds, which have been in the mouth, we should know about these five parts which are familiar with all the tissues in Arabic and English. The tip, the blade, which lies, which lies beneath, opposite the alveolar edge, front, opposite the palatal, the palate, the <coughs> back, opposite the velum, the root, opposite the back wall of the pharynx. Okay, thank you for 